To start the video, we'll talk about what resilience is. Resilience refers to a system's ability to efficiently absorb shocks. There are three main criteria for achieving resilience through medical science, which are diagnosis and tracking, treatment and prevention. The first one involves diagnosing and tracking infected patients. Currently, RT-PCR is used as the golden standard for diagnosing COVID-19. First, a sample is collected from a suspected patient via swab test and is sent to the lab to be broken down by a lysis buffer. The viral RNA exposed is transcribed into DNA and then left to multiply. A reporter then binds to the DNA and the fluorescent particle is released which will in turn help determine the presence of the virus. On top of that, sophisticated AI software, mass data and information technology have also been utilised alongside medical science to aid diagnosis of patients, prediction of infection rates and trend, as well as tracking patients that have been tested positive for a certain disease. The next criteria is treatment. Treatment refers to the actions taken by hospital staff to promote recovery of patients. Currently, Without a proper vaccine produced yet, hospital staff can only rely on putting patients to bed rest, provide supportive care, and monitor their condition. And in severe cases, additional care such as ventilators and steroids are provided to the patients. All of this is to help the patient's immune system to achieve short-term immunity from the virus. However, they can't truly be immune unless a vaccine is produced. Before we move on to the last criteria, let's take a look at how vaccines work. The current vaccine being produced for COVID-19 is the mRNA vaccine. The vaccine works by introducing the mRNA of COVID-19 to our body's immune system. This causes some of our cells to produce the protein spikes which stimulates our immune system to produce a sufficient amount of antibody to prevent infection from COVID-19 for a certain period of time. When a person is able to achieve this, that person is said to have achieved immunity from COVID-19. The last criteria is prevention. As mentioned before, both infection and vaccine can help our immune system to achieve immunity from a certain disease. When a large portion of a community becomes immune, the spread of the disease becomes unlikely. As a result, the whole community becomes protected from further infection of the disease, not just the ones who are immune. This condition is known as herd immunity, which is a great way to prevent the further outbreak of a pandemic. Well, that's the end of our video. Thanks for watching.